Alit. Hi, how's yourself? I'm good, dear. Are you going into to the watch the footy gear? Nah, I'm going you know, to with my friends to the buzzer. Cham that leg. It meant the big ya na. All it, I'm going you know. Tavia. When talking about Jersey, one typically refers to a native of Newcastle upon Tyne or its vicinity that is North Tyneside, Newcastle, South Tyneside and Gateshead. Jersey is a development from the Anglo-Saxon settlers of this region. Jersey is non rhotic like most of England regions and the only urban accent which initial H is not dropped. Jordi is said to be the most attractive accent in England. What I reckon is that if they had themselves proper jobs, they wouldn't be up to all this, you know, larking every night. What? <laughs> <laughs> what I'm saying is that, like, if they had themselves proper jobs, you know, for a the gantil, then they wouldn't do it. You know, a lot of them's from broken homes. Oh, sorry, Mark, that was just a noise. <laughs> a number of competing theories explain how the term came about. Though, all accept that the term derives from a diminutive form of the name George, which was a very common name among the pitmen in the northeast of England. One explanation is that local miners used Jersey safety lamps designed by George Stephenson in order to prevent fire damp explosions rather than the Dave lamp used in other mining communities. Another explanation is that the word Jordi is said to date from the early 18th century when Newcastle people declared support for the English King George I and II in opposition to the rest of the population of Northumberland who supported the Scottish Jacobite rebellion. Ron Atkinson, known as Mr. Bean, as well as the popular singer Sting, were born in the Newcastle upon Tyne. Bine for child. Mesel for myself. Aboot for about. Hoy for throw. Bite, food. Bati for tobacco. Need, night. <laughs> Cain and Mabel were hiding behind the settee because the rent man was at the front door. When Cain noticed something under the skirt and that no one had noticed before, he whispered to Mabel, Hey, look at that ma, a green light shining through from in there. That cannot be right, where the last in the street through that hole should be now but fresh air. So when the rent man had gone, father says, No, hang on, I've always thought this room looked small. When you look from outside, it looks 18 foot wide, but in here it's 12 foot wall to wall. Yeah, six foot gone astray. A secret room behind the wall, is that right? And now what we'll do, shift that city, knock a hole through under this day. He took a newer and a bit until he could fit, he's hidden his shoulders right through. And there sat this witch with a wart on her snitch. She says, yeah, right? He says, fine, thanks, are you? It was then that Cain noticed it wasn't a room. Because he was clever, he'd beaten the scouts. It was all shady and green, just like Jasmine Dean. It's likely enchanted, he thought. With the boards all a twittering, he never heard Mabel whittering as he bundled the rest of them through. The witch patted the grass, she says, Yee, company at last, come in, pet, I've just made a brew. I've not seen a soul, not ye made that hole. Yee, pet, you have made me day. She says, wait, I'll fetch Brian, Brian's me lion. He called up next to Cain, he says, hello, what's your name? He says, Cain, I'm the lad from next door. He is right nice to see you, he roared. Me and the witch were right lonely, we keep thinking if only we had visitors that would be great. Cause you see me and her, like enemies we were, but now there's just us, we're best mates. Just then Cain heard a yelp, what sounded like help? It was Mabel that was shooting poor soul, getting on a coon and getting wedged in the hole. A reed frock buster was Mabel, nigh on twenty stone, Cain says something like, heavens above. She was stuck halfway through, starting again blue run the gills, so he gave her a shove. So the witch and more Mabel sat down at the table, and the pair of them hit it off really well. She gave her some makeup to hide all our warts, 
and then she taught Mabel some spells. The war buttons just live life as normal. With a lion instead of a dog.